In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to write SEO articles with DeepSeek R1. If you don't know what DeepSeek is, it's basically a Chinese version of ChatGPT, which is completely free. Okay, so I'm going to test it out with my own prompt. This prompt is used by me on a daily basis with ChatGPT 4.0, and this content usually ranks on Google. So I wonder if the output with DeepSeek R1 will be actually better. If you want to get access to my prompt for free, the link is in the description. You can just get the Google Doc, but here's the overview. The tone and style is conversational, friendly, with light sarcasm and humor, and personal opinions for authenticity. The structure has a catchy intro, clear H2, H3 headings, short free four sentence paragraphs, and bullet points for easy reading. And of course, the content has to be clear, concise, and without AI fluff. So let's see what we can get with DeepSeek. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use this topic, what are the best guitars for beginners? I play the guitar and I run a YouTube channel about guitars. So it seems like a reasonable idea to use this title. So I use this prompt and after 16 seconds of reasoning, we can see the whole reason here we can see everything that DeepSeek was thinking while he was producing this content and the output is actually pretty good. What are the best guitars for beginners? So you've decided to join the guitar club, awesome, but now you are staring at a wall of options online wondering if you should just grab the first shiny one you see. Hold up my friend, picking your first guitar isn't like choosing a Netflix show. So in my opinion it's a pretty good intro although DeepSeek used the dive into here which is often considered as the popular AI fluff. But when we scroll down, we will see that it's actually a helpful article because it talks about why your first guitar matters more than you think, it explains the difference between acoustic and electric guitars, and it provides the information about five specific models. As someone who knows a lot about guitars, I can confirm that these models are definitely good. Uh, I can confirm that this is a pretty good article and I like the language here. You have the red flags to avoid, you have the accessories that you'll actually need, and the final thoughts. Although I have to say that this is a pretty short article. But overall, the output is very good. There are rhetorical questions, slight sarcasm, bullet points, and like I said before, this is a helpful article. So what we can do now is we can copy the whole article and see if it passes the AI detection. So let me copy the article. And let's go to the first AI detector here, which is copy leaks. Let's scan this content and here's what we have. 0%. No AI content found. Maybe we were just lucky and the second tool is going to show that there is AI content there. So let's check out the quill bot. So let's paste the text here and let's detect the AI. As you can see, 0% of text is likely AI generated. So that's a very good thing because now two AI detectors say that this is human written content. But maybe we were just lucky. So now I'm going to test out the third AI detection tool, which is contentdetector.ai. Let's paste the article here. Let's scan it and let's see what we have. How artificial is your content? Probability of 11%, likely human. So again, it's the third content detection tool that said that it's human written content. So that's a very good score. But let's just make sure that we are not super lucky today. Let's check out the fourth content detection tool, which is writer.com. Let's analyze the text. And as you can see, 94% human generated content. So the answer is yes, DeepSeek R1 can produce human written content. Like I said before, this prompt is completely free. You can get it from the description under this video. Just play around with it. And if you think that it's helpful, you can consider subscribing to my channel. I talk about AI, Pinterest and SEO. So we passed the AI detection, but can this article actually rank on Google? The answer is is that it depends because Google SEO is way more than just content these days. It depends on your authority of the domain, what backlinks you have, what is the age of the domain and so on. However, I'm 100% sure that this prompt can help you write better content and you can do it completely for free because DeepSeek is free. Okay, I hope that this quick video was helpful and if it was, consider subscribing to my channel. See you next time.